What's up creators, it's Curtis. And in this quick video, I wanted to show you our new Fraser AI feature that we just released recently. This is only in a beta-like state. It's definitely far from complete, but I wanted to get it out there so we could get your feedback and see how you like it. It's trained on our own custom data and will continuously get better um, over the coming months as we can train on more and more data, but it's built to basically write your product titles and tags for Etsy. So we're using the actual Etsy data to uh, train this, this model on. It'll write these product titles and these product tags for you in bulk. Now it's not perfect, but it will get a lot of your product listings about 80% of the way done. That's at least that's how I like to look at it. And then you could come through and modify the titles, add in or remove keywords and the same thing with your tags until you have a perfect listing. But it gets a lot of the heavy lifting done and it's pretty good on most of the listings if you give it a good keyword. So the keyword is really, really important. And um, what I mean by that, see I have my data set called keywords over here. I'm gonna shift over to that and you can see these aren't the best keywords, but I think they'll work for this example. And so the adventure begins camping. I put camping on the end of some of these because I wanna push all of these designs towards the camping niche. Some of them already include camping in the name, such as this camp hair don't care. So it has it in there, so I didn't add it to the end. But on these keywords, I did add camping to the end. But as you can see in this primary keyword field under keywords data set, I have my, uh, my keyword in there and that's really all it takes. So let me go back to listing, then I'll go over to Fraser AI. Again, I have all six of these selected. So now in the keyword section here, I actually need to map it to the field that contains my keyword, so primary keyword, and I could choose the product type. In this case, I'm gonna go with t-shirt, but you can see we have sweatshirt, hoodie, tank tops, onesies, bodysuits, mugs, stickers, etc. that we've trained this AI model on. So I'm gonna go with t-shirt for this example. And then down here, I could uncheck these if I like, but really I wanna generate the title and the tags for all these listings. And then I wanna place the title in the title field under the listing data set and the same thing with tags. So now that that's done, that's all it takes. I'll click submit and it's really quick. It's gonna run, this, uh, run those keywords through our AI and generate some Etsy titles and tags for us. So let's go ahead and see what those look like. All right, so that should be done. The data should populate. Okay, here we go. So the first one, and so the adventure begins, camping t-shirt, campfire tea, gift for campers, camper gifts for women, men, ladies, girls, sons, kids, camping life. There's a lot of different keywords in there in terms of camping and who this product could be for. So it's not too bad. It could be a little better, but again, gets you about 80% of the way there. Now for tags, Camping shirt, camping trip shirts, group shirts, family camping trip, family vacation, bachelorette party, and so the adventure. So it's got some of those in there. Uh, hiking shirt, lake trip shirts, kayak shirt. So some of those probably aren't the most relevant tags, but a lot of them are pretty good. Now let's move on to the next listing here. Um, always take the scenic route camping t-shirt. RV camper tee, funny camping shirt, adventure shirt, outdoor nature t-shirt. That's a pretty good title if you ask me. Um, and again, the tags, the tags look good. So this again will get you about 80% of the way there. Then you can make your own manual modifications, remove some tags if they don't make sense, remove some keywords from the titles, just kind of spice it up with your own knowledge, which I highly recommend you do. Again, this isn't built to just fully write your product titles and tags. It's more like built to get you about 80% of the way there, get the heavy lifting out of the way so that you can spend the time just optimizing the title and optimizing your tags. So in this case, it has sometimes random keywords from like maybe a shop on Etsy because it's trained on actual real data. So in that case, you'd want to remove it. But again, these, these look quite good. Some of them aren't as long as you'd want, so you'd probably add to them. Like this one's kind of short. Again, that's probably due to the keyword. But these are, they're not bad. But anyway, that is how you could use our Fraser AI technology. Again, it's brand new, it's in a beta-like state, it's going to continuously get better. I highly recommend you try it. If you have the Pro or Pro Plus plan, you can access it right now. Right inside My Designs, again, all you need is one keyword that makes the most sense or the most relevant keyword for each of your designs or your listings, and then you could run this in bulk. And again, if you don't like a title, or you don't like your tags, you can clear the fields and go generate more. There's no limit to it. So have fun, I'd love to get your feedback on this. It's going to get a lot better, but I'd love to see your feedback, see your suggestions, see how you like it, and see how it's benefiting you. Thank you for everything. I'll talk soon.